Hi, I'm Jessica Denae Early Chop. I'm a developer relations engineer for Google Assistant. Today, I'll be demonstrating the App Actions test tool, which you can find with the Google Assistant plugin for Android Studio. Okay, here we are in Android Studio, and I have a demo application open, so I can test the test tool. Let's start on how to even get the test tool. It's part of the Google Assistant plugin, and you can find it by going in your Android Studio to Preferences, then to Plugin, and search in the marketplace for Google Assistant. Then you'll want to install the plugin and it'll prompt you to restart your IDE. I've already installed it, so we'll skip that step. You'll be able to see the test tool on the bottom right-hand corner here. And you could also go to your drop-down menu under tools, then to Google Assistant, and then App Actions Test Tool. Here it is. And the first thing I recommend is to make sure that you're using the same Google account in your Android Studio, Google Play Console, and the account logged into the emulator, that they are the same because that particular Google account that has access to the app goes through the Google Assistant, so they have to be the same. Let's create a preview by clicking Create Preview. What is happening is the test tool is creating a preview based on your shortcuts.xml, which includes your capabilities, shortcuts, and intents. For this demo application, I have two intent options. I have Get Thing and Open App Feature. Let's do Open App Feature. Open App Feature is a built-in intent that allows users to say something to the effect of, hey, G, open app name. It also supports feature as a parameter, which allows you to give users the flexibility to give additional information of which features they want to see. This demo uses a feature to filter the view, and I have two shortcuts that support active tasks and completed tasks. This allows users to say, hey, G, show me completed tasks on the app name. Let's test it out by changing the feature value to completed tasks, and then click on Run App Action. What this is doing is it generates an assistant link along with how you're handling the intent based on your shortcuts.xml, which in this example, I'm passing completed underscore tasks as a value for the feature parameter. And my Android application gets this information and can access the parameter in extras. Ta-da! If you want to learn more, check out our docs, especially for the full list of over 60 different built-in intents they could use with our latest test tool. Thanks!